you've probably had this experience. You load up a hunter with expensive weapons and consumables, hoping they'll give you an edge on the hunt, only to wind up five minutes later on the ground with all those consumables gone. You're sent back to the lobby with less money and hope than you've had before. I want to help. By the end of this video, you'll start using more of your loadout and take advantage of perks and items that often go unused. You've got to start with the right mindset heading into a hunt. Every match you go into, you should be trying to learn better ways to use what you bring. I mean, if you're not going to use it, why bother bringing it? Consider adopting the mindset, you can't take it with you when you go, that it's better to use it than lose it. Consider using your consumables more aggressively than being stingy about them. No, you're not going to use them in the best ways right away, and you'll probably waste some of them. But with patience and practice, Using all your gear and traits becomes second nature, but until then you have to be intentional in using them as often as you can. If you don't, you're never going to learn. Make a point to remember what weapon variants you bring with you. I mean, melee attachments, swift reloads, and ammo types. These can win games for you if you're in the right situation. But if you don't remember them in the heat of the moment, they're not going to do you any good. To keep your loadout top of mind, get in the habit of switching between weapons frequently, especially before you enter a fight, and confirm what variants and weapons you have. That quick refresher is going to inform how you're going to want to approach the fight. I know I missed many opportunities because I simply forgot that I had a talent on my rifle. Likewise, it's a sad thing when you forget that you have a swift. I can't tell you the number of times I've tossed five bullets onto the ground trying to top off my Scottfield swift. When you're reloading, take a moment to pull up the weapon UI to make sure you're not dumping your leftover bullets on the ground. Here's some tips from a match where I went in with a Centennial and a Scottfield Swift. Every time you open your map, you should skim the traits along the bottom of your map. Take note of what's there and how they might impact how you want to approach situations. Here's a simple example where I noticed I had pack meal. So, when I approached a wagon, I ditched my firebomb to try and get a better consumable. While I was lollygagging at the wagon, a group of enemies ambushed my team. Uh, three people between east and southeast from where I am. And I was in a ripe position to flank them. Oh, jeez, I got shot in the back. Killed one. Some traits, like Serpent, might dramatically affect how you're going to approach a situation. In this case, I had Shadow. That makes it so AI monsters won't see or attack me. I took advantage of it so I could push into the compound. Missed opportunities don't end with your gear. Keep your eyes peeled for stuff in the environment to help. Lanterns, doors, barrels, etc. I was flanked by another team and wasn't sure where they were firing from. So the barrels made a great smokescreen with noise and cover, and this let me give the ambushers a slip. In combat, it's especially hard to use things that you're not familiar with. I suggest adopting a use it or lose it strategy until you start using your consumables in the best ways by reflex. Here, thanks to Pitcher, I was able to flush this hunter out of cover where my teammate picked him off in the distance. Stamina regen shots are best used before the fight. I should have used this in the woods before approaching the compound. If you're using a regen shot after you get hit, you've waited too long to use it. I use some barrels and fire to create noise that lets me reposition on them. Switching to my pistol, I get ready to fan the hammer. When you and your opponents both don't know where each other are, consider tossing a consumable where your best guess of their location is. If you guessed right, or at least close to it, you're going to force them to move. This is where the philosophy, you can't take it with you, comes in. Being stingy on your consumables and chokes is rarely in your benefit. Always be aware of your ammo type and penetration opportunities. In this case, I was shooting through two layers of chicken wire. Now, I know that chicken wire doesn't actually count as metal, but at the time, I thought it did. So in my mind, I was using it for cover while firing my FMJ to penetrate it for the killing blow. When you're playing in a group, always take note if someone has Vulture. I can't tell you how many times I've lost looting opportunities because the wrong person looted without thinking. In Hunt, the devil is always in the details. The hunters who pay attention to those details get to set the pace of the fight. Learn how to set your own terms and defeat concertina campers in this video here. Thanks for watching.